is going on? This is Altone, and today we're going to unbox this Spitfire by Volatech. So it's a 400 millimeter plane, and I'm really looking forward to taking this guy out and flying him. So let's see what comes in the box. I have a couple of other 400 millimeters, and I am spending some time regularly learning how to fly. And this guy, I just realized, you know, some of the Warbirds are pretty easy to fly. It's surprisingly easy to fly. So, got the box open here, Spitfire. Nice, nice looking little bird. Comes with the manual, of course. So this is the plane. It's the Spitfire. Very nice. Got a lot of, a lot of detail in the paint job. And we have a single servo on the bottom, which controls the ailerons. So we have elevator and rudder control as well. And that's pretty cool. You got your battery bay, our battery compartment at the bottom here. Your landing gear actually goes on here. And then you have your real, your rear uh, tail wheel, which is stationary. This color is going to blend in with the background just a little bit. With it being the fall, I'll still be able to see it pretty well, but you do want to kind of try to fly it above the tree lines. So on the bottom, you have your props, two three-bladed props. It comes with a two-bladed prop on there. And then you have your batteries, your landing gear, and your controller. Your controller fits in there really nicely. And it's a pretty standard controller uh, for these types of planes. You have a uh, acrobatics button. And I've tested that button for my other very similar plane. Just the body's maybe slightly different. And that acrobatic button actually works. Then you have your expert mode, mid, and beginner. Throttle control, your elevator, and ailerons. And then here you can actually do your trim to make sure it's trimmed up. And one of these is a trim button and the other one is actually a reverse. It will, if it's flying away from you and you're not sure, you can hit the reverse button, it will turn around and come back towards you. Um, if you set it up and the manual will tell you how to set that up. So that's pretty good. The controller actually requires four AA batteries that are not included. And let's take a look at the batteries and whatnot we have down here. I'm not gonna worry about taking those props out, but those are props, but I am gonna take this off. You have two batteries. These batteries are Single cell, they should be 300 or 400 milliamp hour. Oops, single cell, 400 milliamp hour batteries. And then you have a battery charger. I don't usually use these battery chargers. I have a different one that I use. And then you have, because uh, I have extra batteries. And then you have this little piece here that replaces the piece that the prop actually plugs into. So if you crash, these props actually pop off, which is fantastic. So that's it again awesome little bird i'm looking forward to taking this guy out and flying him and i will post some additional content on that once i do so thank you so much for stopping by i hope that this helped you out in some way have a fantastic day and i look forward to seeing you and talking to you again in another video